it going? Boosty here. Um, I'm gonna do a quick video on my setup and the things that I have in my workspace and for gaming and the various accessories I have in terms of computer equipment and shit. And I figured I'd do it because today I rolled over 50 subscribers. So oh, we'll oh, fast here. Um, yeah, the past yeah, month, yeah, pretty much, yeah. we've gained about 40 subscribers. So with that, guys. Stay tuned. Um, feel free to comment below for anything you want to see. More cars, more Battlefield footage when that comes out, more I play World of Warcraft, more Rocket League, whatever, tutorials, how to, Windows 10 help videos. I like doing these fucking videos because I like that someone, I like the idea that someone gets something out of my videos. So, with that, I'm just going to give you a small insight to where I work and where I do these videos at. So, Without further ado, we'll start by talking about the chair I sit in. Chair, I wanted a comfortable chair, so basically what I did to select it was I went to Office Depot slash Office Max slash Staples, insert fucking uh, office store here, and I sat in about 50 chairs and then found one on sale that was usually 300 for about 150 picked it up. I like the leather, the executive feel and look to it. Um, it's, it suits my needs. You need to value. And, and weigh the pros and the cons of each chair. You know, if I had gone with cloth, it probably would have been breathing better. I could have spent more and got one of those gaming chairs, you know, but I didn't really like that look. So you have to value all these things and then decide what you want out of a chair. That's pretty much all I can say about it. Next, we'll talk about the desk. So the, the first desk, the one that my uh, desktop PC is set up on, it um, came from Office Max for about 200 bucks. I was on sale, usually about 400. And if you can't tell, I'm all about the deal. Um, but it's it's not all solid wood. Um, the big top piece is entirely solid wood, and I'm pretty sure it's wrapped in a fucking veneer. Um, but for 200 bucks, I really can't complain. It looks very executive and nice. Um, I, I like it. Um, the other desk is an oak desk that's been in my girlfriend's family for a long time. But I just she had her stuff all over it, and I decided I wanted it, so I relocated all of it. And naturally, I've taken it over as my editing station. I like to edit on my MacBook Pro. And I have a secondary old Acer screen that I just threw up there for, for fun. Um, but let's talk about the two machines. So I have a gaming desktop that I built last December employing the uh, Black Friday, post Black Friday sales. I um, ordered everything off Amazon Prime for amazing prices. Um, so let's just, I'll run through the specs really quickly. If you guys really want, I can do a whole video on that on the desktop build, what I chose, why I chose it, etc. But let's just dive in. I, it's an i5 at the heart of it, an i5 Skylake 3.2 gigahertz locked processor, so it's not overclocked. Locked into an MSI um, M3 gaming motherboard. Um, and I love that. It has built-in surround sound on the board, so I don't need any fancy audio card or any bullshit like that. It's got HDMI to go straight to the board if I wasn't going to run a graphics card. So um, it's got tons of you. It's got three or four USB 3.1s. Um, just beautiful. Great card. Um, uh, RAM 16 gigabytes of Corsair 3000 megahertz uh, clock speed and or memory speed and yeah you know, that's overkill because I think the chipset for the Skylake maxes out at 2600 so you can't really utilize anything above that but whatever. Um, it was on sale as well. So, uh, hooked up for PCU cooler, I have a Corsair Hydro 80 GT, and that's with a single radiator with dual fans on each side of it. Really like it, it stays pretty quiet and it keeps everything cool. Um, water cools all the rage. Uh, built in a um, Corsair Spec 1 uh, case, it's like 40 bucks, real good, plenty of space to get everything done in just a regular ATX size. Um, Graphics card, just an EVGA, um, an EVGA GTX 970, and I got it from Best Buy back when they were retailing for still like 330. I got it for about 280 because I worked for Samsung and I got an employee discount by someone there who bought it for themselves and then gave it to me, sold it to me, you know. So. And that's pretty good, you know, I, I think I'll upgrade to the 1070 around Black Friday if I can find it for a deal or wait till the spring. So, um, that's my desktop, my MacBook Pro is just a 2012, mid-2012 model MacBook Pro Retina, and it has a 512 gigabyte SSD through the PCI Express slot, uh, it's got a 
NVIDIA Mobile 690 or some shit, 1 gig of DDR5, not really strong card anymore these days. Um, but you know, I just use it for Final Cut Pro X, and I'm real happy with it. that. Maybe down the line I'll upgrade to a more powerful one if this channel takes off, but you never know. The Asus Gaming one I have is the 144Hz one that they offer, and it's really crispy, really buttery, the frame rate is just fantastic. And running 1920 by 1080p, which is pretty much what my video card was built to do, it's a 1080p killer. Um, that's perfect for me, and the rotation and the movement of the screen, and the way you can let, set it up is great. Um, my MacBook Pro Retina is up on a Rain uh, laptop, like Razer, and I love it. It's aluminum, it's simple, it's elegant, it looks like it's an Apple product, and I really like it. It gives it a nice look to the desk. Keyboard and mouse, I have a Magic Mouse 1, because it's... 30 bucks refurbed instead of $80 for the same fucking thing with just a lithium battery in it where the charge port is on the bottom so you can't even use it. Um, I have the Magic Keyboard 2 and that I love. Uh, just pairs up Bluetooth. Great. It's a keyboard. It looks like Apple. I wanted it to look really clean. Didn't have any use for a gaming keyboard. Like the low profile. Like the, the fact that it's the same keyboard as my MacBook Pro. Just moved away from it and down so I can have that extra space. Um, You'll notice on both desks, I have a 36 inch by pretty much 12 inch mouse pad, and they're plush, like 4 millimeter, water resistant, beautifully, like, they look aesthetically great, and they give me space to put down any knickknacks that I don't want to put on hardwood, like my phone screen, all that stuff, my camera, everything. For mice and keyboard on my desktop, I have a Razer headset, no, sorry. I have a Razer Black Widow Tournament Chroma, uh, and the Tournament Black Widow basically means it comes with a carrying case and it doesn't have the numpad, which I didn't realize when I was buying it, but I don't hate it now because, I mean, I can make do without the numpad, but sometimes I wish I had it. Um, and it, the cord that comes into the top of the, the Black Widow is detachable, so that's nice. Um, for a mouse, I use, for shooters, first person shooters, I use the um, M65 Corsair Vengeance, red, green, blue, and I really love it. It's got the sniper button on the side, and it just has excellent, like, you can turn off the acceleration, and, and, the, and the Corsair software for the macro and adjustment management for your profiles, I, I like it. Um, it doesn't, it's not as shitty as the Razer software. Yeah, and I have the Razer 7.1 Chroma USB uh, Kraken, I think it's called, the headset, and I like it, it's fine, it gives me good surround sound, and um, it's like 70 bucks, so, yeah, that's that, that's my equipment, guys, um, I'll do a thing on my camera and stuff once I get better at using it, I'm still just a baby in terms of film, um, you can see some of the smooth pans and tilts in this video. Um, I just picked up a new Manfrotto 190X tripod and um, a new fluid head from them. So I'll be doing a video on that once I learn the ins and outs better. But you can already tell the quality of shots with that tripod is just, and fluid head are great. They pan and tilt really smooth, but for another video. So with that guys, like, comment, subscribe. If you, like I said, comment what videos you guys want to see. What stuff you guys want to see from me in terms of whatever the spectrum of shit it is. If you have questions, whatever. But, that being said, boost you out. Peace. Ah!